You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Welcome to Java Junction. Ballistic Hoppy Boy here. So this episode is going to be a little different. I want to discuss something at length for the whole episode. Uh, so, uh, as you know, as many of you know, I was voted for YouTuber of the Month or nominated for YouTuber of the Month for June 2023. And um, this is a prestigious kind of thing I realized because I was nominated last summer too. Um, I realized it was kind of... Um, it's been going on for 15 years or so, like a long time. And basically, it's to nominate people in the vintage gaming community that are under 1,000 subs or 1K subs. And um, so I was voted, uh, I was nominated last year by Back of the Day Gaming. And um, uh, it was just an amazing experience. I got to meet people like Mocking JYT, who are still friends of mine, and many other people two countless to name and I really appreciate it and the real bit wars actually beat me that um, last summer so um, so they actually became youtuber of the year whenever that big contest happened so I was going up against that so anyway um, so uh, yeah just awesome so I found out recently that um, this uh, guy i just kind of discovered his page and he nominated me as well for june 2023 for this year um and that's retro bliss gaming and i'm i'm just so thrilled he sent me an email asking if it was okay and i was like sure you know um and i was just overwhelmed and around that time i was getting kind of near a thousand subs as many of you know and so that process kind of kick-started that and two weeks in i reached a thousand subs and it's just kind of been amazing and I appreciate it so much but I wanted to make this video because uh, you know yes I did campaign to win and I it was hard to do that because a good friend of mine Mr. Postile was on the contest and I really wanted him to win too and but I really wanted to win to nominate these five great youtubers that I know or four as it were and um, uh, and so I was just you know devastated that I lost because I really wanted to nominate these youtubers they were they're that important to me um, uh, one in particular who's very close to me Luke's awakening uh, on YouTube and so my nominations had I won were would be Luke's awakening uh, it would be um, Aries the child or brain slush TV he's rebranded his channel recently I'm still trying to remember it but I know I'm as Aries the child always uh, Go Game Go, and we have uh, a couple of nerds who I've been friends with for a while, long time on YouTube, and I love their channel. And also, Dad is a Joke, who's a new friend of mine. He's an Atari content creator like myself. So those are my five. And had I won, I would have nominated the. I would have nominated those five. So I was just devastated because I wasn't able to. So. Um, so I, you know, was just so sad about it, right? As many of you saw. Um, I mean, happy I got to 1K subs. That's amazing. But I was so sad that I couldn't nominate these deserving people under 1K subs that have great channels. So I was down the dumps. And I was, you know, I was kind of thinking about how to speak about that on my channel. And suddenly I get an email from the winner of YouTuber of the Month who beat me out June 2023. And um, that would be Mike's Gaming Gala. So Mike's Gaming Gala is a channel out of Canada and he features uh, Atari content, everything, just new stuff, old stuff, great channel, uh, cool personality, and I really like his channel. And him and I have kind of become friends through this process, which is amazing, and which is another reason why it's so great. I wanted to say my eyes are red because uh, I'm just kind of like blown away by this and uh, it makes me well up because it makes me happy what happened. 
So what happened is Mike from Mike's Gaming Gala emailed me and said, hey, um, you know, you have a great channel and it feels great that I won, but you should have won too. And I feel kind of bad about it. And I was just blown away to read that. He went on to tell me how much he loved my channel. And that really touched me right there. And he went on to say that he was, he wanted to nominate my nominations. And I was just like, y'all, I can't even tell you. I was like, I was like shaking, uh, just about crying i was just so freaked out because this is my one dream to get these people nominated so one of them could advance but but you know what it's great for all the channels they all get exposure i've, I've gotten at least 500 subs in this contest right so over the you know i would maybe not that many but you know at least maybe a hundred <laughs> so um but uh you know because i don't want to put down the work i've done the channel the past two and a half years it's been a lot of work so um i don't want to belittle that so this contest has brought me um lots of exposure twice i was nominated so i got twice the exposure i guess and it was just awesome experience i had so much great feedback too from people that voted for me and i'm just so thankful for those of you in the atari community inside and outside of it just everybody i think i appreciate it and uh but anyway going off the rails there but i do want to thank you for the votes um from everyone who voted whether you're just a viewer in Wisconsin or whether you're, you know, a dev like Tony Barnes or the creator of the Atari 2600 podcast, Ferg. Uh, these are great friends of mine and many others voted for me too. Uh, countless to name. And but anyway, um, so when I read that email that he wanted to nominate my nominations, I was just blown away. I just I can't even tell you guys that's unheard of for someone to do that. And so I was just, are you sure, you know, like, and so, um, I'm just touched by it so much and it, it makes me really proud and joyous to be a YouTuber for sure. Um, so my eyes are red because, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm recording this right after I found that out. So, but I'm airing it later. Um, but, um, so it turns out, um, you know, uh, my friend Luke sent me a message and said, Hey, I'm dropping out of the contest. I, I don't want to go against my good friend Aries, you know, brain slush TV. And I was at first, I was just shocked and didn't understand it. But then I kind of do because, you know, YouTuber of the month, the votes are like public. You can see who votes for who. And, you know, it is kind of a popularity contest to a degree. And, um, so I, I, I totally get it why he wouldn't want to run against his friend. I had to run against Mr. Postile, which was hard for me. The only reason that it was okay to campaign, I feel, because I wanted to vote my friends in. You know, I wanted them to get nominated. So um, that was the whole point. So the fact that he was able, he's doing that for me, like I didn't even have to win. And I got my nominations up and I got to a thousand subs. So I'm just like over the moon, y'all. I'm just, I'm really grateful. And I want you to know that. Um, but this, you know, so Luke has dropped out of the contest and I totally understand why, but I want everyone watching to please go check out Luke's awakening on YouTube. He was on that Atari show recently. Um, and his part two is coming up as well. Um, probably after this airs, um, it airs on Mondays, that Atari show, but it's a two parter he's in. We did an interview together before all this stuff happened. And, um, so, but yeah, so it was just, it's a, it's so crazy. Like what happened? I just want you guys to check out Luke's awakenings page on YouTube. He's incredible. He features PS five. He features the Ken Hank console, which gotten a lot of views, like 10,000 views, which is awesome. On one video. I couldn't believe it. Um, he's got some great content. Um, he streams with his daughter. Um, they play Wii U games. He plays Sega Saturn games. He plays everything. He plays Switch. Uh, he recently covered the Atari Jaguar commercial collection, like cart and CD. And um, he's been a nice friend. And he's always been there for me. And we've been friends now about a year on Twitter. Basically, we just we talked for the first time live whenever we did we shot his episodes of that Atari show. Check it out if you haven't. Um, but just a selfless human being and I'm just I'm really proud to know him so check him out as well I would I would love for him to get a boost out of this just because he's such a nice guy and also Mike's gaming gala 
what kind of creator does that that would win and nominate someone else's nominations that's just unheard of and it really speaks to the kind nature of these youtubers that we have in the vintage gaming community and i wanted to make this episode or java junction just to let you know that there are some incredible people in the vintage gaming community very selfless very humble um and i i think some of this might be because it's a younger generation coming up too like um you know aries the child brain slash tv who's also nominated now um he's just such a nice guy i feel like in my generation we weren't that nice i don't i don't know but it's just i love it i freaking love it so i don't want you to change aries but just such a nice guy and luke so selfless i i just i can't believe it and mike's gaming gala being so selfless um, it made me feel kind of bad for campaigning so hard to be YouTuber of the month when I did. But I wanted to let you know it was because I wanted my friends to get nominated. That was the only reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. And M Mr. Postal and I voted for each other. So it was a wash there because we both love each other's content. But I'm just so thankful to be a YouTuber. And I'm proud to be a YouTuber. And um, this is the second time I'm actually recording this because I deleted it by accident. But this is a much better version anyway. But um, I just wanted to say I appreciate you so much for watching and being part of the vintage gaming community. I'm pretty much in, planted in the Atari vintage gaming arena. Um, and some Nintendo sometimes. but And toys and Playdate and stuff. And home arcade. All my stuff I cover. But um, it's, it's just amazing. Um, so as much negativity as you might hear within the community... There's also a lot of positive, and that's the mission of this channel is to talk about positive stuff, stuff that makes you happy. Um, I don't want to bring anyone down on this channel. That's why I don't like to be too negative or cover hardcore topics because just sticking with Atari news and then having fun with it on that Atari show is good enough for me. It's good enough for you. So um, my purpose is to just have, you know... Um, is to just celebrate things on this channel to make people smile to make people laugh that's the whole purpose okay Beh um, behind it all of course it's atari education fun you know computers gaming consoles everything uh as i said a minute ago all the stuff i cover but um that's the main focus but behind that is just i want to make people happy i want to bring them news information and make them smile so i hope that this video comes across that way sorry for my red eyes <laughs> um, I'm just really touched by this to tears and I wanted to thank Mike's Gaming Gala for nominating my nominees and please go check out the Real Bit Wars page for July 2023 I'll put the information down below check out all the people that are nominated basically if they win they get to nominate five YouTubers of their choosing under 1k subs in the Vintage Gaming Arena um, for August so that could be anyone that they like or or whatever right so um but please check them out i'm going to go over them right now before we end this so um no particular order so my friend luke has dropped out so um which the interesting thing about that is that it makes him not to leave out someone because he was going to have to leave out someone i think and so since i had five and i think you have to have one international and i didn't so it's possible that one would have had to not be nominated had Luke not dropped out. So it just kind of worked out that way. And I appreciate Luke for your sacrifice. That's a big sacrifice. That's why I want everyone here to go check out his channel and subscribe right away. Um, he's that great. And he's a kind guy and he's nice. And he's a great friend and a great dad and a great husband, I'm sure, to his wife. And great friend. I, I couldn't ask for a better friend. Um, so I appreciate it, Luke, so much. It means so much to me. You don't even know so go subscribe to him so please so the other nominees are fantastic okay and i wanted to nominate them for a reason no particular order first up we have a couple of nerds a couple of nerds aka fresh and mary is a husband wife team um they through their vid their their channel intro you get the impression they met at a con or something like a convention they both love comic books and toys and video games, video games monthly and uh, retro game treasure and all those unboxings and stuff. And I really love their channel. They're genuine. They're fun. They kind of can be snarky to one another and it's funny. Um, their daughter, Fresh and Mary's daughter, sometimes is on and she's the most adorable thing you've ever seen. 
But um, I just wanted to say uh, that's why I love their channel. They're genuine and they're them. And I love it. So uh, check them out. The other person is Aries the Child, a.k.a. Brain Slush TV. Um, if I get that wrong, I'll put it at the bottom because I'm still I'm still trying to commit it to memory, Aries. I'm sorry. I know you as Aries the Child. So um, I'm going to call him Aries. So Aries, uh, Brain Slush TV on YouTube, he's just – it's like – his his videos are just awesome it's like hanging out with your buddy back in the hood as i say playing playing and talking about video games he's comfortable he's fun he's got a personality that just explodes through the windows and that's how great aries is um aka brain slush tv so go check him out he talks about uh emulation consoles and toys too and games and just amazing and uh he's the kind of guy just like luke i wish lived right next door he's he's the really great guy like you'll want him to be your friend whenever you see his video so check out aries the child also known as brain slush tv that's two the third one no particular order is go game go so jeff who runs go game go is a nice guy that i've been on their show before um, they have a great community. That's the best part about Jeff's channel, Go Gang Goes. They have a fantastic community. They're always talking. They're there. They're having fun all the time. You're inviting. Um, and his co-hosts are great as well, uh, Wolf. So just some just some great guys. So please go check out Go Game Go. He's also been on that Atari show. Check out his interview. I'll put it down below. Um, so really supportive guy. Um, I can tell you he doesn't think that he's worthy but my god jeff your channel's great so i'm sorry we think it's great and it's going to be great so whether you like it or not keep it up so um i just wanted to say that because it's a great channel and so he needs to know that too maybe it's good that he doesn't so he's all humble i don't know <laughs> but anyway so that's three go game go check it out so the fourth one is uh dad is a joke and this is a friend of mine from Canada who does Atari content like me. And uh, he's got that deep radio voice. And uh, I love it. And um, he's supported this channel from the beginning. He's also been on that Atari show. Um, so he's not. Now Luke has been too. So almost everyone I was going to nominate has been on that Atari show, <laughs> except for a couple of nerds and Aries. But, you know, it's never too late, right? So. Um, Dad is a Joke is a great channel. He's got a podcast. He's got a website. He does daily and week, I think sometimes daily and weekend updates for Atari news. And I love it. So that's something new he started. And I freaking, I think it's great. So check out dadasajoke.com and on, on YouTube as well, Dad is a Joke um, and Twitter. Um, great guy. Supportive. He's an old Atari fan like me. And we have that in common and i love it so and we're both very supportive of the vcs which needs all the support it can get so um, it's been great knowing him so there's another nominee right now i don't know about as of this recording um because this is just about like it's coming out right now so um, um and i'm putting this together kind of at the last minute but um so i want you to check out that nominee too i'll put all of their names uh here down below in the description like i said i don't know who that fifth one is it's probably um an international youtuber or one of mike's gaming gala's choosing i'm not exactly sure how that works so it it could be either of those things but check out that person to their channel i'll put it below i just wanted to say overall um it's been fantastic this experience has been amazing so any content creator out there that's apprehensive about being nominated, I understand why Luke dropped out. I do. I get it. Um, that's not my intention. I don't want him to feel some type of way about it. But I, I just wanted him to know how much I appreciate his channel. Not just his friendship. His channel's great. So, um, and, uh, and, you know, all these people are deserving of winning. So check them out down below. Thank you so much for watching Java Junction. I hope you like my new intro. <laughs> it's fun to make that. I'm hopefully going to keep it if I can. But um, this show is going to be about talking about vintage gaming and things in the community and as well as my arcade and my computer. So, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, can't wait to see you again. Come out next time. We're going to play some arcade games next time, I think, and talk. So I think that'll be fun. But this is so important to me. I wanted to put it out as its own episode. 
on this on these announcements for YouTuber of the Month for July 2023 and explain kind of what happened. It's it's life changing. I wanted to say Mike's Gaming Gala, you are a friend for life, man. Uh, you're fantastic. So is Retro Bliss Gaming. Um, so is Back in the Day Gaming. Uh, so is are all the contestants. You know, um, uh, I've talked about all my friends as well and um luke uh you know fantastic friend i couldn't ask for a better friend and aries and a quapple of nerds and dad is a joke and go game go they're all great people um so check out their channels and subscribe like and comment and you do the same here thank you so much for watching java junction go get your java and we'll see you next time guys bye now You are, you are watching, watching. Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.